So today is going to be an interesting day. I'm doing a lot of testing. I've done so, I did a couple recordings and it turned out the sound level wasn't very good, so I'm trying a mic. I'll put a note in the show notes what mic I'm I'm trying out. I will take any suggestions that anyone might have. But I've got this troubleshooting thing that I got from Trigger about maintaining temperature. Oh, so so that's one thing. My mic hasn't worked out on a couple other recordings, so I'm redoing this. Or excuse me, so I'm testing a new mic. Also, I had a problem with the trigger getting up over 400 degrees. So I called the tech support and they gave me a seven step process to check or to troubleshoot the, um, the temperature. Here's all seven steps here. Not important, I'll actually put them in the show notes. So we're gonna do this troubleshooting stuff here. Step one is make sure you're using trigger branded pellets, which I am, and then these the shouldn't crumble. Well, they don't crumble, they do break apart, but you gotta work at it. It says roll them between your fingers, and if they're moist, they'd break up. Well, they're still shiny, and they're very still solid. Rolling them, pressing hard, they're not breaking apart. So I'm gonna go step one, check, we're good to go. We're gonna couple we're going to cook a couple chickens. This really isn't going to be about cooking the chickens, but more about trying to get the grill to over 400 degrees or about 400 degrees. We've got all kinds of thermometers. See, got some thermometers here. I actually bought, and I, I'm going to install it, is I bought a uh, tri uh, the trigger thermometer that goes out here. So we're going to have all kinds of thermometers and we'll get this thing tested. Please bear with me as we walk through this process. I hope, I hope it's not too boring, but if you have a trigger and you can't get it hot, maybe the, you know, someone will find this helpful. Number two, check the probe inside. The probe looks good to me. It's not bent, not really dirty. So step number two, check, clear. Step number three is to mark the auger, turn on the trigger and let it go. Should take about 30 seconds to 40, 35 seconds to 40 seconds to make it all the way around. And right there is my mark. You should be able to see that. Since my stopwatch is on my recording device, which is actually my iPhone, I'm going to pause the recording and we'll turn it on as it comes back. Besides, I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch this for about 30, 40 seconds. Alright, it just went by. I wasn't able to catch it on video, but it took about 35 seconds. So, step three, check. Okay, number four in our test is to test the fan, the induction fan. This is the larger of the two fans, should be running consistently, so we're going to check that out. <coughs> Excuse me. I've seen the small fan and the large fan, so I'm going to point them both out to you, and we'll give this a test. So I'm going to get out on the floor here. Excuse me if there's wiggle in the movie. Oh. All right, small fan. Small fan's currently not running. That's it right there, but it does run most of the time. Or sometimes, every time I've seen it, it's been running. This is a big fan. This is the fan we're concerned about. So we're gonna go to test it. Yeah, so I think you might have heard that. It's running and it, it's, it's not easy to stop. So I think we're a pass on this one. Okay, step number five says use a thermometer to check the temperature that's coming out of the air that's coming out of the chimney. So there's my thermometer. I've got it marked at this guy. In fact, I'm using quite a bit of thermometers. Still need to add this thermometer. We'll get that here shortly or maybe not. We'll play it by ear. Inside I've got the two thermometers. 
And of course we have the this guy up front here. All right, check back with you later. As you can remember, I have those probes in there. The one on the bottom, the one that says barbecue, is actually the inside the grill at 383. The top one, 399, is coming down the chimney. Kind of always wondered how that cold smoker thing works. So, I guess with the it doesn't seem so cold when that's the hardest part of the grill. I, I was out there earlier and the grill said, I think, 357. Anyway, I'll go out there at Stark right now and we'll take a look. But I am, I am fairly happy that the grill is making about 400 degrees. So this is a good thing. I was concerned the Junior, boy, that thing got really hot. It's very small. And I was, I was concerned this one wouldn't get very hot, but it is, it's hot, it's good, so I'm happy. Testing number six, we're going to look inside here to see if there's any rust holes other than the ones that are pre-drilled. As I look into here, it might be hard to tell in the video, but it's brand new. I don't see any rust going on there. This is inside the grill, of course. We took up part the grill, as you can see. And that's the inside. All right. Step seven, check your chimney cap. Make sure that there's at least one inch clearance from the bottom of the cap to the top of the chimney. So that's what I did. I took a board. I had to do this with snapshots. I couldn't do a video. I just didn't have enough hands. So I took a board, measured from the cap to the top of the chimney, drew a line, and then measured it with the tape measure. It is over one inch, so step seven, check. All right, I'm just getting ready to put the chickens in, and I noticed our grill's at 393. But the uh, outside temperature thing here, and the inside thermometer, look at that. It's 435 and 484. I should probably know which one's which, but I'll think one is inside the grill. Number two, that guy right there is 437. That's the chimney. Anyway, hey, this is pretty exciting. By the way, the outside temperature is about 60. All right, we'll get the, the chickens in and we'll check back halfway through just for the fun of it. Okay, as I stated, it's dark as you can see. The grill's at 353. That number sounds familiar. We already looked at the, see this is this guy coming out of here. That is gonna be, I believe the two, 396, and the 383 is inside the barbecue. Let's take a look at these guys. Looking good. Our thermometers are reading. Uh, what is that, about 340? And this one's to the right. This guy's reading about 375, I think. And I actually purposely put these towards the front of the grill because I, I did notice there's a temperature difference between the back and the front. Anyway, I'm pretty sure these are ready to go. There they are. Thought I'd have to show you the food, even though that's not what we're doing. All right, I'm very happy, like I said, with the temperature. It looks like it's, it's hot, like it should be, and it's going to be time to eat soon. Until next time.